How's it going? Uh, today, I wanted to perform an experiment in front of you guys. I thought this would be kind of uh, fun and informative. Um, I have two of the same camp stoves here. And uh, these are both the uh, Trangia Spirit Burners. And they're two of the same stove. I also have two of the same pot here. These are camp pots. Uh, little folding ones, pretty handy to have, you know, uh, camping, backpacking or something. They're the uh, Alpine Stowaway Pots. And um, what's going to be different is the fuel we're going to use because uh, pretty much both of these, they can use different types of fuel. An alcohol-based fuel um, is what we're using on both of these, but they're different types of alcohol. So right here, you can see I have a denatured alcohol fuel. And over here, I have uh, some Everclear, right? So, um, and we're going to see if they perform much, you know, if there's too much of a difference between the two. Um, so we pretty much will add the same amount of alcohol to both. I'll, uh, I have some water here, and we're going to add the same amount of water to both. And then we're going to see if one uh, boils that water faster than the other. And then uh, after we're done with that, I uh, went out into the woods and I harvested some needles here. So I have some uh, fir needles and I have some pine needles. I'm going to mix them together and make some tea out of it, some uh, conifer tea. So that should be fun and tasty and uh, give me my vitamin C boost, which you get from those needles, so that should be good. All right, so we'll get started. Uh, first, we're going to uh, add uh, the alcohol here. So uh, we'll start with the Everclear on this side. And I have little measurements on this bottle, so I'll make sure that I put the uh, right amount of both. there. And uh, denatured alcohol on this side. Let's see, a little bit more. Alrighty, um, and for the pots, we'll uh, add the same amount of water. I, I'm not 100% sure how much water this is exactly, but I'll, we're going to add the same amount to each, so that'll work out well. All right, I just need to grab some more water. All right, now we have our water. All right, well, they're both lit, have the same amount of water in them, and uh, we'll see which one boils first. So again, this one on this side, that's the denatured alcohol. And on this side over here, we have the Everclear. And uh, we'll, we'll see which one burns faster. One little note I do wanna make is um, in this lighting, it can be hard to see flames uh, of alcohol or that burning alcohol. And the Everclear was a much more clear flame. And I could see the flame on the denatured alcohol uh, much easier. Just a little side note, if that matters. All right, so we have boiling water on this side. This is the uh, denatured alcohol. And uh, so it seems like it's a superior fuel. Um, you can't drink the fuel though, like you can on the other side. But look at that, we have boiling water. That's just fantastic. Well, I guess uh, all we have to do now is make some tea. All right, so I have my, uh, my needles here from, uh, I have some fir needles and some pine needles. I'm just gonna add it right into the water. And uh, you don't necessarily have to use this much, but I, I, I kind of gathered a bunch. So this is gonna be a very strong tea. All right, well, this one started to boil. Um, took almost twice as, mu as much time as the other one, so Everclear w will work. But uh, if, if you have denatured alcohol, you might as well use that. It seems like it's a superior uh, fuel. So, but we'll take a look at this and 
definitely boiling, so it still works. But I'm already making some tea, so I'm just gonna um, take this off and put out the flame. All right. Little tea for me in my Sierra cup here. And a little tea for Pops in his fancy titanium cup. We'll see what it's like. I've always like Conifer tea. It's been a little while since I've had it, but um, it smells incredible. I gotta tell you, it is like Christmas time in here. <laughs> I heard you made me some tea. Yeah, well, there's your fancy cup there. It might still be a little bit hot. Pretty good. Smells really good. All right, I just want to pause the video right there um, and remind you guys that anytime you're going to be consuming uh, wild edibles, make sure you do some research, do your homework, and uh, make sure that whatever your your local species are, there's no toxins that are that are in the leaves or the needles. If you're making any of these teas, or really, it's a good uh, rule if you're going to be eating anything out in the wild. So do your homework. Make sure the species you're using don't contain any toxins. And then uh, once you do that and you find the right, the right species, uh, enjoy your tea. All right, back to the video. Oh, that's, that's not bad what at all. What about Everclear? A uh, little shot of Everclear. <laughs> all right. Mm. Boy, that's good. That's pretty good. And you get a nice, uh, a nice uh, shot of vitamin C. It's supposed to have more vitamin C than an orange. Um, so, so pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see the color of that, but it came out just kind of a, a mild green, kind of a mild yellowy green. And it has a great taste, very refreshing. All right, so um, denatured alcohol worked better than the Everclear. Of course, you can't drink the denatured alcohol. Um, and uh, as far as making some conifer tea, I definitely recommend it. If you're in the woods, uh, I mean, most woods out there, at, at least in Western United States, up in the north, places like that, there's going to be a lot of conifers, fir, uh, uh, pine. You can take the needles and just make a tea. Um, and it's kind of a nice treat. So now that you guys know, you can try it and, um, hope you enjoyed this episode and, I'll see you guys next time.